We are under the hood today because this stuff is flammable and smells funny. Um, and it will evaporate really quickly. So we're going to have to do this one under the hood. This is the chromatography. We use this fancy chromatography paper, which I have delightfully made just like your experiment says, with a point at the end and a line two centimeters above the end. And you're going to use the spinach extract and ooh, spinach extract and you're going to put that onto the line so you can do this in a couple different ways as long as you're consistent liz likes dots i'm sorry i, I like do. lines i don't but even care you're making the video so it doesn't even matter you can do whatever you want do a line. Should I just do all right line? so as you do this you're just going to use a capillary tube which will suck up the solution and then you're going to put it on the paper See, you just draw it across. I know. It you're doesn't just, matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it across. Well, you need to do this a couple times. Okay, so you're going to put some on, let it dry, and then put a little more on so you get a nice, thick little line. The more you can get on there without going crazy, of course, because it will actually break the chromatography paper, um, it, you will end up with better results or so your stronger colors that you'll be see as she's shaking it to dry it. She's really not doing that to convulse on the camera, which is what it looks like. <laughs> so, <laughs> not convulse. No, you let no. you let the solution dry on the chromatography paper and we're doing this in fast time you'll have a little bit more time to let it dry and you'll make a nice thick line on there and then you will have in the hood these little test tubes which will have lids on them for good reason make sure the lids stay on them okay, and we have a little bit of fluid at the bottom this is a petroleum ether which is going to get sucked up through the chromatography paper so when you put it in there boop, it is going to be touching the fluid at the bottom and you can even see the fluid is moving up along the chromatography paper just like a paper towel would be sucking up stuff on your kitchen counter. And as it moves, it's going to pull the spinach fluid with it. And this is going to allow for some separation of the color pigments that we see used in, in the plants or what we find in the plants um, that are not being used for photosynthesis, right? Very right. good, yes. yes. So yes. reflecting that color. So again, watching it move, you can kind of see it. If you want to stand here for 15 minutes and watch it, you can. I'm I'm not going to film that however so as it moves up the chromatography paper it's going to separate the pigments based on three things right that's right solubility adhesion and polarity you got and it. a couple other things of course as well so i'm going to fast forward through time just like they do on all those cooking shows <laughs> Woo! here, comes, here comes it right out These of the are, oven that's right Magic. Smell those <laughs> right <laughs> so if you look at this chromatography paper which we can kind of see, let me get the color looking all pretty here um what we can see is there are four lines ish there's the line that it started with which we're not going to count because that's still a concentration pretty high of the um spinach stuff and then we get a separation of four different molecules we have a lightish green which is going to i'm trying to, can you see it kind i of don't in know the center? you can kind of see it in the center it's kind of in the center i'm trying to see it that's okay and then you end up with that's the, the bonus for doing right. the experiment yeah, right. you'll see it. Yeah. so the first one is going to be our chlorophyll b so it's that lighter green color that's going to be closer to the start and then you'll have the next layer, which is a darker green color, which is uh, chlorophyll A. And then sitting on top of that, touching it, will be a lightish yellowy color that is going to be xanthophyll. It's spelled with an X. I love that word. Why is it spelled with an X? I don't it's like know. xiphoid process I don't in the bones. Know. And then if you look at this line way up here, that is going to be a yellowishy orange color. This is going to be caused because of keratin. Uh, this is something we find in things like carrots. Whatnot, Go figure. Because right? it's carrots, orange. You know? So as we look at all these colors, they are going to separate again. I'm going to see if they look any better up here. Oh, hey, they do. I should have done that in the first place, guys. Sorry. Light green chlorophyll B, dark green chlorophyll A, yellowish is going to be the xanthophylls, and then that carotene way up there is going to um, be the farthest moving substance.